So in my last video, I had a lot of fun reviewing this tool called InPainting. This was created by a company called Runway ML, and this tool allows you to essentially do basic object removal tasks in video, and it uses machine learning tech to get the job done. And I got some really impressive results. If you haven't already seen that video, be sure to go over to the channel, check it out. And in today's video, I'm actually looking at another tool from Runway. This one is much more useful. No matter what type of content you create on your particular platform or channel, I guarantee you, you're gonna be able to use this because it's all about creating subtitles. And just as I did with the in-painting video, I'm gonna be really pushing this tech to the limit, so be sure to stick around. Okay, so as I said before, not everyone wants to perform object removals like the in-painting tool does. However, pretty much everyone wants to create subtitles for their videos. There's a recent survey of US customers here that shows that 92% of video views on mobile devices are with the sound off. It really makes sense, for example, when you think about all the people like waiting in a queue watching videos with the sound off, or people in bed next to their significant others, each person on their phone watching something, or all the different scenarios you could possibly think of where you're watching a video but you don't want to have the sound on. In fact, the same survey shows that 80% of consumers are more likely to watch a video all the way through when subtitles are available. Those are pretty huge numbers. If somebody's watching your video with the sound off, text is going to help not only grab their attention but keep them interested. It can help add context and really keep your viewer locked in. Without text, a lot of people are probably just gonna scroll on by. So how can you add subtitles to a video? Back in the day, there weren't really a lot of options for transcribing videos. If you happened to work for a company that had interns, that was always an option. Or you could always send your content off and pay specialized companies a premium to get those transcriptions. Or worst case scenario, you could always set aside a lot of time yourself and just do everything manually. Luckily, technology has finally reached a place where we have options. These days, when you upload a video to YouTube, subtitles are automatically added, and I think that feature is currently available in just over 10 languages. As if that wasn't already cool enough, this feature has recently become available for live stream videos, unfortunately, English only. So the first step in creating your subtitles, you wanna think about your viewer's experience. So how is your viewer going to see your subtitle? Are they gonna to have to manually click on something? So for example, if I have a viewer on YouTube and I want them to see the subtitles all the time, I'm probably gonna to have to go into the settings and make sure that the subtitles are forced to come on at all times. However, when you're publishing your video to a variety of different platforms, this becomes quite challenging because you have different settings for different platforms and to get everything uniform across these platforms can be extremely difficult. Difficult. That's why people use the burn-in method. The burn-in method is essentially adding those graphics to your video during export. So they're permanently on your video. You cannot remove them. It doesn't give you the option like a little button to toggle on and off. These are different from these SRT files or other subtitle files that you can upload and they have information for timing so that that allows a user to either turn it on or off. So again, with so many different platforms, if you're uploading to different platforms and you want everybody to be able to see your text at all times, you'll definitely want to choose the burn-in option. Let's see how to do it in Runway. All right, so this is the dashboard of my Runway account. The cool thing about this program is that it's all browser-based, so you don't need any particular piece of software. All you need is an internet connection and a browser to use this. All right, for the first step, I need to upload my clip. So I've got a 25 second 4K clip here. I'm just going to drag and drop this directly on to the timeline here. This is the video editor inside of Runway. Okay, so with the clip selected in the timeline, if you go over to the right, you'll have your properties tab here. And then just to the right of that, you have subtitles. I'm going to click on this. There's actually a drop down menu where I can select my flavor of English and Spanish is also available. Not entirely sure if they're going to be expanding this out to other languages. I'm assuming that they are. So let's just do uh, English from the US. And I'm gonna click on start. Now you can see here in the timeline, I have all these subtitle files here. Now I can click and drag the move these around. They're on a totally different track here. But as I click on one, you can see right here, subtitles properties are controlled by input layer. So you can go to the layer, that's gonna automatically select the video layer. This is where you can see all of the subtitles right here, which you can actually go in and edit. You can search your subtitles by keyword if you want. That could be super useful. And then up here at the top is where you can do all of the stylization. So let's say I want a red background and I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. Have a bunch of different font options here. Some serif, some sans serif. And that's pretty cool. As you play it back, you can see it automatically selects 
whichever subtitle file you're on. All right, now let's export this. Okay, before I get angry letters from viewers, subtitles are different from captions. Now, what's the difference exactly? Well, think of subtitles as a translation. Subtitles are showing you what the people are saying. Captions are specifically designed for hearing impaired, so they give you context. They help describe sounds and different things that are happening visually on screen. Again, captions give much more context to a scene than subtitles do. Okay, it did a really great job here. In fact, the only error was one duplicated word as you see here. And this was the burn-in method. Since I simply left the subtitles on screen and I did a simple export, these are burned onto my video. If I want, however, I can go back up here into the menu settings and export this out as an SRT file. Then I could come over to YouTube and upload these. But again, if you're working on a variety of different platforms, you're probably gonna wanna burn some subtitles in every once in a while. All right, now let's upload the same clip to YouTube and see how the automatic captions are handled over there. Okay, before I get angry letters from viewers, subtitles are different from captions. Now, what's the difference exactly? Well, think of subtitles as a translation. Subtitles are showing you what the people are saying. Captions are specifically designed for hearing impaired, so they give you context. They help describe sounds and different things that are happening visually on screen. Again, captions give much more context to a scene than subtitles do. Okay, so Google did a fantastic job. However, this is a different kind of subtitle. This is not a burn-in. You have to toggle this on or off in the YouTube settings, which is perfectly fine. And you can, however, re-export this as an SRT file if you'd like, which you could then use to burn in in a different program like Runway or some other third-party application. You'll also notice how it looks different and animates on differently, which again, you can adjust in the YouTube settings. Runway, on the other hand, is using punctuation. Looks a little more nice and neat. Now, how is all this possible? Well, both Runway and Google are using machine learning algorithms to get the job done. And if you look at the documentation on Google's site, you'll see that this tech still has plenty of room for improvement. Right here, Google writes, the quality of the captions may vary. We encourage creators to add professional captions first. YouTube is constantly improving its speech recognition technology. However, automatic captions might misrepresent the spoken content due to mispronunciations, accents, dialects, or background noise. You should always review automatic captions and edit any parts that haven't been properly transcribed. So yeah, even Google says that these are not professional. Now, I have a pretty neutral American accent. There's not a lot of background noise here. I have a professional microphone. However, I'm going to test out these machine learning algorithms and see if I can trip them up with some tongue twisters, some difficult vocabulary, some slang. That cupcake was scrumptious. 77 benevolent elephants. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Teraflop. Benedict Cumberbatch was in The Power of the Dog. She sells seashells by the seashore. A loyal warrior will rarely worry why we rule. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? To begin to toboggan, first buy a toboggan, but don't buy too big a toboggan. Too big a toboggan is too big a toboggan to buy to begin to toboggan. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck all the wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? You know New York. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I'd love to hear what you think down in the comment section. If you create subtitles for your videos, let me know your method, what tools you use, your techniques, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Once again, if you haven't seen that video about in-painting from Runway, go check it out on the YouTube channel. All this machine learning tech is so fun. I love testing it out, see where it's at. It's only getting better and better, and I really can't wait to see where it's at in five or even 10 years. It's gonna be pretty incredible. Thanks again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.